Good morning, my friends. Today is Sunday, October 2nd. It is the 27th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Seven more weeks till uh, Advent. Uh, it's day 23 of Beform, my, my favorite number, 23. And by the time you get this, uh, we'll be either getting ready to board a flight to Israel or we'll al already be on the way. And so Monday's video will be brought to you from uh, probably Nazareth in Israel. Have you ever felt like God doesn't hear your prayer? Let's look at the readings today because I think it speaks to all of us. Habakkuk, the prophet in the first reading says, How long, O Lord, I cry for help, but you do not listen. How often have we felt that way that we're we're begging God for something, we're, we're praying, and, and it doesn't happen. I remember when my mom died at the age of 57. She was 57. I was 31. And uh, I, I was in the seminary. I said, God, I, I'm giving you my life. And then you take my mother. And, you know, I was begging God for a cure for her cancer, and it didn't happen. And so I can relate to Habakkuk. But I believe that God brings good out of every, every bad situation. And uh, I believe that my mother either is with God now or is on her way. And, uh, you know, he'll bring good out, out of every situation that's bad. We hear in the, the second reading that we're supposed to be bold with our faith. Um, so St. Paul is uh, imposing hands upon Timothy, which is in or the ordination, right? And he says, for God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but rather of power of, and love and self-control. So we have been, we've talked about in, in baptism and confirmation, we've been uh, claimed by God as his beloved children. Uh, we've been anointed with the sacred chrism oil. And we shouldn't be ashamed of our faith and we should boldly not only proclaim his name, but also boldly come before him in prayer. Because Jesus says in the gospel, uh, the apostles ask him, increase our faith. And he says, if you have the faith the size of a mustard seed, which is tiny, uh, you would say to this mulberry tree, be uprooted and planted in the sea and it would obey you. So often in scripture, Jesus connects faith with, you know, miracles. If you have faith, this will happen. And uh, I, as I was uh, preparing for this, I, I read the reflection here in the Magnificat. People have asked what this is. Uh, it's a, it's a monthly magazine called The Magnificat that has uh, the readings of the day, reflections, morning prayer, evening prayer. Um, it has, it's a great resource, um, you know, anywhere from, what is it, $29 a month up to $159 uh, over four years. So just an encouragement. Uh, but there's a reflection from St. Charles de Foucault, and he says this, that's the force of prayer, believing prayer and having steadfast faith that it will be answered because the asker believes in three things. So if we come to God with three things, uh, watch what happens. We believe in the infinite goodness of God. Do you believe that God is infinitely good? Do you believe in the infinite power of God? So if God is good and powerful, all powerful, and the veracity of his words, meaning um, what God says is true, um, because words in which he often promised in the Holy Gospel always to respond to our faith. So God promises to respond to our faith. Uh, and then he says this, people's prayers will be answered if they have unwavering faith, that if they pray with humility and trust, those two things, and humility, trust, and faith, trust slash faith, um, they will receive either what they are seeking or something better than what they're asking for. So he says, if we come before God, um, believing he's infinitely good, believing that he's infinitely powerful, believing that he, he answers his prayers, which and his, or he answers, his words are true, meaning he says, if you come to me with faith, I'll answer your prayer. Then either two things are gonna happen. God's gonna answer the prayer what we're, the way we want him to, or he's gonna give us something better. And there's times when things happen, you think, how can that be better than what I was asking for? We don't know until, we probably won't know until we come face to face with God, his, his infinite plan. We also have to know that some people use their free will for evil, and that's not part of God's plan. 
Um, but he can bring good out of even those worst circumstances. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for your son, Jesus. We come before you like your apostles and say, increase our faith. We want to believe in you more, in your infinite goodness, in your infinite power, and in the truth of the words that you promised to be with us when we ask in faith. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed day, everyone. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share these videos with at least one person today. And to you and to your family, Buen Camino. We'll see you next from uh, the Holy Land. God bless.